Good morning. It's the Tuesday after Easter, and still we are basking in the glow and joy of our Lord's resurrection. The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. There are three things that inspire our belief in Christ's resurrection. One, the empty tomb. When the women and the disciples came to the tomb Sunday morning, they discovered the stone was rolled away and Christ's body was not there. He is not here, said the angel, and indeed he wasn't. After all, you don't find the living in a grave. Two, Jesus appeared to them alive. There are several instances of this recorded in scripture. We will be looking at some of them in our upcoming morning devotions. And three, the witness of believers. We are told by reliable witnesses that Christ rose from the dead and that and we believe those reliable witnesses. The third of these may be the most important for us. We have not visited the empty tomb, and the risen Lord has not appeared visibly to most of us, but we have been told by trustworthy folks that he is risen. They heard it from others who heard it from others all the way back to the apostles, and they wrote it down for us. It's called the Bible. The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. May God bless and keep you during these days of testing and all your days. See you tomorrow.